Hello everyone, it's Becky here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because for the first time ever I think I'm doing a Q&A video and thank you very much to everyone who submitted the questions and if you're new here I am doing this because in my last video which is sort of like a little bit of comeback for me I asked if you have any questions because there have been quite a new people who came to the channel and also I've been away for quite a bit so I told you that if you have any questions you could have submit them to either Instagram Instagram or in the comments and a couple of you actually did so thank you very much for that and without further ado I will just start with the questions and the first one from lovely Gem from Gem of Books she asked me what's your favorite non-bookish thing to do so I love being in nature so if it's lovely weather or even if it's raining I don't mind anymore um, I like to be somewhere out and it's something I actually do miss quite a bit now when I'm in Bratislava because that's where I live and it's the capital of Slovakia for those of you who don't know um, and we do not really have as many opportunities I would say for let's say go and climb a mountain as, as you do in Scotland because here of course we do have a lot of like different parks and even little forests and little of hills but I unless you have a car I feel like it's not as easy to go like when you're in Glasgow and you just jump on a train and then within half an hour you can go for a three moon rose during the day so it's not really like that so I do miss this little bit but yeah if I'm not reading or doing some non-bookish stuff usually it's being it's being somewhere outside or then I like to do different like um, exercise and go to gym um, to different classes even like dance classes and stuff I like swing dance I'm not very good at it but I really like it and then I would also say like watching movies and stuff and um, spending time with my friends and family and our dog yeah uh, and question number two from Gem as well where is the next on your travel hit list so um, Scotland, surprise, surprise, I have such a big bucket list of the places which I would really um, like to see in Scotland and yeah, Scotland would be the first and then also Madeira, let's say, I've never been there but I've seen a recent, I think this and last year that quite a lot of people is actually going to Madeira during summer or during the year and it seems to be absolutely wonderful place where you also have like you know like everything sea mountains and forest and it's just really really lovely at least from what I saw from the different pictures and videos so Madeira and also I would like to see Iceland and then go to Italy as well because I used to go there quite often with my family when I was a kid but it's been a while since I was there and um, I never even been to Rome and stuff you know like places like this so I would like to see more of an Italy as well um, another question which I got from a subscriber was what is it I'm currently reading and for those of you who maybe missed my last video I'm currently reading this which is Alan Rickman's diaries can you see it yes so I'm reading this and it's interesting and I like it but I would say it's not what I expected because I was hoping it would be more of a like a full continuous text and well this is I feel like the way Alan Rickman used to write is really like in very short points and I feel like I was explaining this to Kelly because we are doing a battery together and when I read this book I feel like my brain is just going like like reading it very fast but not fast in a way as you would be reading books normally but just kind of like jumping from one sentence to another and it's very strange uh, so yeah this is what I'm currently reading, reading. Then another question which I got is, I would like to hear more about your job, um, is it what you expected and do you have fun? So for those of, you, those of you who don't know, I work in a production, I work as a production manager in one company that creates commercials. I'm hoping to get to the film as well one day, but uh, right now I'm with the commercials and um, yeah, basically what I do in my job is that once we get a production go from the client and also agency, I start to put the whole crew together for filming and then I also go with the director and producer and some couple of other people. We are going to locations to see where we could possibly be filming and then I'm also present at shoot, which is always a lot of fun. But it might be really, really stressful and tiring as well, but I do enjoy it because I work with so many different people all the time and... It's it's really great type of job I would say like I really enjoyed and if you if you're someone who like to work with people and you like you know kind of having a lot of details to handle and stuff and organizing it's great but then sometimes because all the processes are so much um, connected to one another and especially the time timing it's so we always produce things very quickly and very fast and sometimes we work on two or three different projects at once so you really need to pay attention to what you're doing because you don't really want to put you know like some person from the crew to another project by accident on the call sheet which almost happened to me one time so um 
yeah but it's really fun and i really like it but it might be a little really stressful and especially when you're shooting the hours are very long because always you have like 12 hours for shoot and sometimes it might go longer as well um so yeah but it's fun and then i got another question from lovely fernando with whom i read a surrender book and he asked what is a life goal that you hope to accomplish in 10 years well, thank you very much for this question, which not allowed me to sleep for tonight. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to do a little bit of thinking actually, but I think that in 10 years, although I don't know if this can be taken as a goal, maybe more like a wish, I would say, because I think like in 10 years, it would really be lovely to be a mom and a wife. I don't know if this is a life goal, but it would definitely be a lovely thing to accomplish in 10 years. And besides that, um, I don't think right now I do have any specific goal, but I... It really made me thinking about this, so if there is anyone watching this right now and please let me know in the comments if you set your goals like this, let's say for another 5 or 10 years and how specific you go with the dreams or goals you have because I do have quite a list of the things which I would like to accomplish but it's more like a, let's say I want to go and travel these and these places or I would like to have a job obviously which will provide for me and I will still love doing it and go to work um, or grow this channel, you know? and also everyone in my life be happy and stuff but I don't know like do you have any specific goals like this for another 10 years please let me know in the comments and you don't have to be like super personal and stuff but if you have anything you would like to say regarding this because I'm quite curious how people actually set the goals let me know in the comments and then I have another question um, how do books you read influence you as a writer which I got from Maika and uh, that was a very good question which also made me really sad because I realized through this question that it's actually been ages since I wrote something, some sort of fiction. And um, if you are new here, I was also publishing here um, little videos which I was doing whilst I was writing my book. I can have a list here on the playlist. Um, and I realized that basically since the time when I finished that I did not touch writing, like fictional writing and stuff like that. And obviously the book is still in the computer just if you wondered <laughs> it's still there um but it's something i would definitely like to do again which i keep saying for past year and it made me really sad but to answer this question i think that because i do enjoy reading quite a lot of like memoirs and autobiographical books and biopics um even like to watch biopics and stuff um i think that's also really influenced my writing when i was choosing my last project for uni because i was writing a book about my grandmother and it was based on her life so I would say when I even read books like this, I like to do also a little bit of a research of how much from what author was writing could have been possibly true or how much true it was regarding the real life and even checking some, you know, like the concrete years I'm reading about and, and that was the same thing like when I was writing my, my book or the story of my granny, I had to really you know like dig deeper into the time period I was writing about and I think that these two things might be a little bit connected if that makes sense but yeah definitely good question that made me a lot of yeah thinking to do and then I got a question from Mark from book time with Elvis if you had to make videos about something else other than books what videos would you make um Honestly, I cannot really imagine doing videos about something else. I think I would be interested to do some sort of like vlog style videos, which I know I mentioned previously on this channel and I haven't managed to do it as much. <laughs> um, but maybe if you would be interested to see some sort of like um, vlog type of videos, let me know. But I think that I really enjoy doing videos about books because it's very versatile, you know, like you can, you are talking about books, but you can still do, you know, like journaling videos and TBRs and wrap ups and reviews and recommendations and stuff. And I really enjoy doing all of it because you can have different take on every video. So, and I hope you like that as well. So yeah, I think the books, I think that if I wasn't too shy i would actually enjoy doing some workout videos maybe but i think i'm way too shy for that to put myself on the internet like this or one i would really like to do but i don't think i can ever be able to do this is doing like different travel videos but because I personally really like taking pictures when traveling um, but I don't really like to focus on video making because I feel like that really takes a lot of my mental space and I would very much focus on like how I'm gonna do the shot and these like, kind of things I think that I would not really be able to enjoy the experience in real life as much and that's why I prefer to take photographs rather than create videos but I think that if I would not have this weird mindset I would really enjoy doing like traveling videos so yes my friends and 
Um, I think those are all the questions. So thank you very much to everyone who submitted and who sent the questions. I hope you enjoyed this and then from the next week I will see you with some normal bookish videos again and I have some stuff planned. So hopefully you will enjoy that as well. And until then, please take care and I will see you soon again. Bye bye.